Call me at 486-9999. Injured in a car crash? Don't delay. Call the strong arm today. Or you accept a quick check, check with me. Call me Juan LaFonta because I'll fight for you. Man, why you look so serious? We got to bounce this out. Remix. Oh, he fight. He don't play. It does seem like every time you turn on your TV, you're inundated by commercials for lawyers. And the lawyer who started it all here is Morris Bart with commercials like this. If you get hurt in a car accident, do like thousands of people have already done. Bring your trouble to me. 30 years ago, I did a feature story on Morris Bart. At that time, he was pretty much the only lawyer in town hawking business on television. At that time, he had offices in the old Plaza Tower building. There were three attorneys in his firm and some 20 or so employees. But for the 80s, his advertising budget was pretty hefty. He was spending about $2 million a year on commercials, commercials that made other lawyers cringe. Fast forward to 2018, and apparently all those commercials paid off. Morris Bart now has sprawling offices on several floors of the Pan American building. He has 120 lawyers in his firm, some 300 employees, and an advertising budget of more than 25 million a year. So we wondered when we revisited him 30 years later, did he ever dream it would come to all this? No, I didn't think we'd grow as large as we are now. It's, uh, it's been an exciting ride for me, starting when you interviewed me many years ago. <laughs> While so much has changed for Morris Bart over the past 30 years, one thing is not. Uh, he likes really being a celebrity. This is what he said in the 80s. And I love it. I mean, it's, it's fun. You can't really be on television if you don't like people and if you don't like dealing with people and seeing people and meeting people and i love people so when i get the attention i'm really appreciative of it because i really love people and he still feels that way today yeah i love being on television i mean who wouldn't like that who, who wouldn't like you know being in the spotlight and, and getting attention from people in the town that you love and, and as i said i love new orleans and i love the people here and it's wonderful that, that people recognize you and show you love, which I get when I walk down the street, as you get constantly. So I, I like that. In the 80s, his commercials were, well, pretty campy. Back then, though, he was proud of them. I think they're very good. I think they're very good because they appeal to the market I'm trying to appeal to. And I have fun doing it. I enjoy doing the ads. Now even he looks back at those ads and cringes a bit. So when I look back at the ads I did then, I snicker at them because we've evolved a lot. We've evolved to ads I think are very good now. It's, it's a, a, a mature type of ad. It's, uh, it's something that I think is very effective, very aggressive, uh, grabs the viewer's attention, which is very important, but most importantly, doesn't poke fun, doesn't have slapstick, doesn't poke fun at being a lawyer because it's serious business. Back in the 80s, his slogan was, I'm attorney Morris Park and I'm on your side. And I'm on your side. And I'm on your side. Today, it's simply one call, that's all. And taking those calls is a pretty hefty job. Good afternoon, Attorney Morris Bart's office. This is Javon, and how may I help you? This is one of two call centers Bart has, this one here in New Orleans and the other in Birmingham, to handle the thousands of calls he gets for his firm every day, a firm that's now in four states. At the New Orleans Center alone, they average between 2,500 and 3,000 calls a day. So with business booming like this, one does wonder about the downside. His critics say his firm is just a legal mill, that he never goes to court. But Bart says that's not true. They do take cases to court. He even has a mock trial courtroom here to prep when they do take a case to court. And the other criticism you hear about not just you, but all these lawyers now, the pr proliferation of, of personal injury attorneys, plaintiff attorneys, is that it's driven up insurance costs. Well, we don't cause accidents. You know, people are going to get in accidents, whatever that is. I mean, if somebody is drunk or somebody hits a pothole or there's some other defect in the road, and drinking and driving accounts for the vast majority of the serious injuries and deaths in the state of Louisiana. So it's not like someone sees a lawyer and then says, okay, I'm going to go get in an accident and get hurt. I mean, I guess some people could, but that's, that's you know, fake accidents. Yeah. Uh, but, but real accidents, uh, they happen. And so now it's a question of, do you want people to know about their rights? 
Back in the 80s, we sat down with Morris and his wife, Kathy. These days, she's still very much a part of his business. Besides the offices he has on the 23rd, the 24th, and the 25th floors of the Pan American building, Morris Bart wanted to have a storefront on the first floor to have a presence on Poydras Street. It is here where Kathy had a big hand in the design of this space, where the local art they've collected over the years is on display. And this is where we tried to wrap things up. 30 years ago, you guys were on the couch. Huh. Um, you, you all have not changed that much. Well, thank you. A little you. bit. Uh, I feel Your hair that, was shorter. Uh, my hair was shorter, yes. Right, right. Uh, my hair was much bigger. The glasses were much bigger than they are now. But the biggest change for Morris Bart over the past 30 years is the perception of him. And the lawyers that used to look down their nose at you and go, oh, that Morris right. Bart. They're all doing it. They're all advertising. The biggest law firms in New Orleans, which I'm proud to say, we are now one of the biggest. We're now the second largest law firm in the city of New Orleans. But the large, 100-year-old law firms that represent all the insurance companies and big businesses in town, they all do marketing now. It's not like they're going to be on television like I am, but every single one of them now has a marketing director that works full-time for their law firm and gets out in the community and does marketing efforts on behalf of that law firm. It's morning, bro, time. Morris Bart now says those TV ads that had other lawyers cringing years ago have made him a trailblazer. Eric Paulson, Eyewitness News.